Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Costco haul for you. This is a monthly Costco haul. I try to only make it there once a month because as you know, Costco, all their items are sold in bulk and it can get pretty expensive and we don't go through that much stuff in a month, but there are some things we do go through a lot. So we do need to pick those items up in bulk. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I picked up was the Zone Perfect Bars. My husband loves these when he's on the go. He likes to snack on these, um, have them between meals, or even to sometimes compensate in a meal until he can get to a meal. So I picked these up for him. I picked up some coconut water. I find that their coconut water is the best. I get the Zirco 100% natural coconut water. It's sold in nine one liter bottles, and we pretty much will, it'll go a little over a month, give or take a few, but we're starting to be home more and more active, so we probably will buzz through this quite quickly. The next thing I got was this all natural distilled white vinegar. I use this for cleaning, cooking, pretty much everything. This will last me a little over a month, but my old container, I'm already blown through it, so yeah, I had to pick up a large bottle of that. Olive oil. I love their olive oil. I think it's a good price. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. It's a great price. I picked up a huge bottle that I use a lot of my recipes, use olive oil in it. I use it to make dressings. Gotta have my olive oil in this house. The next thing I picked up is these hundreds, well, 100%, these organic made in nature, organic, dried. These are what? Dried dates yes dried dates i can't even talk right now so dried dates i like to throw these in the smoothies to give them a little extra sweetness um they're just really affordable at costco and we'll go through these a couple months the next thing is i picked up some organic strawberries for smoothies um obviously in michigan all of our berries are going to be scarce here pretty soon just because of the winter so i try to stack up on berries and freeze a lot of berries for smoothies throughout the winter so i picked up a big bag of that the next thing is this organic romaine bag. We make a lot of salads. Um, we put these in wraps for lunches. Um, my son likes to make Caesar salads, Caesar wraps, so I picked up a huge bag of that. We'll blow through that. Obviously, this is not going to last a month, but this will last probably, if I store it properly, a little over a week. The next thing I picked up, they were sampling, they used this as a sample today, these pierogies. Um, I got the four cheese, cheddar parmesan, and farmer's cheese with Swiss cheese. This is just a great um, item for a snack for the kids or a lunch or for a dinner side. So I picked up a bag of that. Looks pretty good. It is getting cold here in Michigan, and we're getting sick with colds and congestion and things of that nature. So I picked up this Annie's Organic Soup, the lentil and the lentil vegetable. There, it's an eight-pack. It ends up being reasonably priced. Right now, it's on sale two for four at CBS. This is under $2 a can, which is really, really good. So I picked that up to stock in our pantry. A big thing of Cheez-Its, my kids request this. I try not to get them Cheez-Its and Goldfish and all that crappy stuff, but they do request things sometimes. So for their lunches, they, they like the Cheez-Its, so I got them that. The next thing are these Mary's Gone Crackers. I love to use these. Um, well, I like to dip these in hummus. I eat them straight. I really like these. These are gluten-free, non-GMO. They sell these through Vitacost in a smaller box, but they're a little bit more pricier, and now they're starting, oh, there's a glare. They're starting to sell them at Costco, so I picked up a huge box of those. And then I also picked up, a, well, this is like a four-pack of, a case there's 10 in each so about 40 honest kids juice boxes they have in here the pink lemonade grape strawberry and the apple i put these in my kids lunches they love them the next thing is these hebrew naturals beef hot dogs this is the brand that i like there's no artificial flavors no fillers no nothing they're 100 percent beef they're really good my kids sometimes like these in their lunch i do it as a quick lunch or quick dinner so just something really, there's four packages in there, so I freeze these, and when I need them, I just open up a pack, put it in the fridge. The next thing is they were giving out samples of this Tasty Bites lentils. Um, she said that you could serve it with rice, noodles, things like that. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was quite tasty, and so I figured I would do it with rice with the meal. The thing is I get my eggs there, reasonably priced on their organic eggs. So there's a 24 in that. We like these for breakfast, hard-boiled eggs. 
I picked up a thing of raspberries. These were pretty reasonably priced and they looked good. These are organic. I picked up two things of bananas. Yes, we're not going to go through all these bananas, nor will these stay good for a month, but I am going to freeze some of these for smoothies. The next thing is a big package of Kerrygold butter. I believe that, yeah, there's so there's three sticks of this butter. We use it for just pretty much everything. I love my Kerrygold butter. The next thing, they had these Nordica Wear baking sheets, three piece. I needed new baking sheets with the holidays coming up. So I picked up those. And then last but not least, vegetable broth. I usually make my own vegetable broth, but we eat a lot of soup in the winter and I just cannot make enough vegetable broth nor do I have an, enough scraps to make my vegetable broth. So I went ahead and picked up a big, big, well, big six pack container box filled with that. So yeah, so I spent just a, about 200, a little over 200 and some change um, on my haul for the month of October. If you enjoy Costco monthly hauls, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up so I can continue to do these because if there's no interest, I really won't do them. But if there is, I'll keep on doing them. Other than that, you guys have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you real soon.